Hello everyone. As you can see from the title, we recently tested the iPhone 12 Pro Max, one of Apple's biggest iPhones ever created. This iPhone has a larger screen, a battery of 3,687 milliamp hours and an even bigger sensor. Now when it comes to the screen size, the 12 Pro Max measures 6.7 inches compared with the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro 6.1 inches. The screen refresh rate is only 60 hertz. That's too bad when other smartphones are reaching rates of 90 or 120 hertz. But all this will be nothing without the new A14 Bionic chip from Apple, which they claim to be 50% faster than other smartphone chips. The iPhone 12 Pro Max also has LiDAR technology, which they say will help when taking portraits in low light conditions. On the lens side, the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a 13 mm ultra wide lens with an aperture of f2.4, a 26 mm wide angle lens with an aperture of f1.6 with sensor shift optical image stabilization as well as telephoto lens that goes up to 65 mm and opens up to f2.2. If you follow DxO Mark, you may have noticed that we've recently rearranged our score chart. We've also increased the number of images we take for our test to 3,000, and we evaluate two and a half hours of video. You can read more about the updated camera protocol on dxomark.com or by following the link just here. And also, don't forget to follow us on YouTube so you can catch more reviews like this one. Great, now that I've updated you about that, let's get into our camera review of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Here's a rundown of the specs iPhone 12 Pro Max, will Apple again storm the heights of our database? In general, the iPhone 12 Pro Max captures detailed images with pleasant color renderings. Exposure is accurate and contrast is well managed, apart from some highlight clipping. Colors are vivid and pleasant, especially when HDR processing is moderate. Now, let's take a look at some of the attributes in more detail. In this backlit scene, both iPhones blow out the sky though the iPhone 12 Pro Max actually handles the exposure on the model's face a little bit better. Now both iPhones did flare in this photo. The iPhone 12 Pro Max's tenacious grip on target exposure is on display in these images. Both reference devices underexpose the subject's face quite seriously, while the 12 Pro Max does a little bit better job of keeping it bright. The iPhone 12 Pro Max renders pleasant colors indoor and out though sometimes a slight blue cast can creep in when you're outside. But color rendering can stumble in high dynamic range scenes, taking on an almost cartoonish look. In the outdoor examples, we have a very nice color on the foreground subject from the 12 Pro Max, but the HDR color in the background looks off, as does the other model skin tone. Indoors, the iPhone leans a little bit more on the warmer side, which Apple is known for. Now, Apple takes the autofocus crown with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Autofocus is fast and accurate under all conditions. Apple also manages the depth of field very well. In our tests with people at different distances, the iPhone did a good job of picking a focus point that maximizes sharpness for near and far subjects. Image artifacts are fairly well controlled overall on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but we did see some huge shifts in ghosting. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is a substantial improvement over the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but it's far behind the best of the competition. However, the iPhone 12 Pro Max can't really compete on the long end of the zoom compared to its adversaries. Here, details are lost and noise is visible, especially versus the 12 Pro, which has a two times telly. The example shows that the 12 Pro Max has not yet switched to its 2.5 telly. It's still on its main camera when the 12 Pro is already switched. But once the tele module kicks in though, it does a better job outperforming the iPhone's 12 Pro and 11 Pro Max, though there's some loss of detail and more noise than is ideal. In this example, the exposure and color of the iPhone's output is notably better. This iPhone does quite well on the wide part of the equation, offering lots of coverage and good overall image quality with a few caveats, like color cast and slight loss of sharpness. The iPhone 12 Pro Max does a pretty good job of separating the subject from the background, though sometimes, like most smartphones, it does make mistakes around the edges, especially on textures like hair. And when we introduced our preview benchmarking, Apple was far ahead of the competition 
in terms of accurately showing what you'll get on the screen. In general, exposure in the preview image closely approximate what is actually captured in the photo. Dynamic range is usually close as well, though it can be more limited in the preview. The bokeh effect in portrait mode is preview, but with only an approximation of the depth map, so the blur tends to spill over onto the subject more than in the final image. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is a capable night shooter and an improvement over the 11 Pro Max, but it lags the very best of the competition. Exposures are good down to low light levels and dynamic range is fairly wide. Colors are usually pleasant. In the example, the iPhone manages a nice, bright exposure and balances noise and detail quite well. The iPhone 12 Pro Max shoots nicely exposed video down to fairly dim light, but exposure does drop off once the light gets really dim. For the pros, it has fast and accurate autofocus, accurate exposure, pleasant warm white balance indoors and in low light, a wide dynamic range in videos, pleasant color renderings and skin tones in most videos, and the video stabilization is effective. And now some of the cons. The dynamic range is limited in stills. There's noise often visible in stills, especially in lower light. The color can look unnatural in some HDR scenes. Ghosting, hue shift, and ringing artifacts in the photos, and there are some exposure instabilities in videos. Okay, we're almost done, but as Apple likes to say, there's one more thing, the score. With the iPhone 12 Pro Max, Apple again storms the height of our database. It achieved an impressive DxOMark camera score of 130 with an excellent photo subscore of 138, a zoom score of 68, and a video score of 113. Well, that about wraps it up for us. Make sure you follow the link here so you can read the full review on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can catch more reviews like this one. Thanks for watching.